Welcome to the first day of Mobile World Congress 2009. My name is Mike Rayfield. I'm the general manager of NVIDIA's mobile business unit. I want to talk to you for a couple minutes today and show you uh, what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to announce, and uh, tell you a little bit about what's going to happen at the show. So we're very excited today to announce uh, the world's first platform for building a $99 high-definition mobile internet device. Uh, these devices will take the form factor of anything from a small pocketable slider to something that might have a 12 or 13 inch screen on a uh, clamshell design. These devices are focused on a great web experience, the ability to do your productivity tools, to do email, to view PowerPoint and Excel, the ability to do great HD content, so watch 720p or 1080p video for a very, very long period of time, uh, great audio, and then social networking kinds of things, web 2.0 uh, applications, uh, IM, uh, Skyping kinds of applications. We think this is a, is a huge opportunity for the industry, both for the computer industry as well as for the communications business. This is, a, at this price point, if you have one of these devices that can be sold in retail for $99, then we can get people that aren't presently connected to the web, whether it be over 3G or over Wi-Fi, on the web. We can give them the ability to get all the HD content that's online. We can give them the ability to go off and do research and, and, uh, and social kinds of applications on the web. Uh, it's the kind of thing that we saw 10 years ago in the voice business. When phones became uh, $100 or below, all of a sudden cell phones became ubiquitous and the data that was delivered was voice or ringtones. Right now what we're going to see is the data being delivered is the web's content, whether it be HD video, whether it be music, whether it be just the ability to chat and to browse the web. The uh, thing that we think is very important in this is you've got to be able to do all these applications. You've got to have great performance, but it's got to have amazingly low power as well. The devices we're thinking of are devices that are um, capable of being plugged in every two or three days. You use them all the time, you plug them in every couple days. The difference in that and the small devices you see now, like the netbooks, are those in general have about two hours of battery life. When you have two hours of battery life, it's, it's very excited to enable a whole new uh, type of device that, that um, like I say, many days of battery life, great HD uh, content capability, great web surfing, productivity capability, all of it, again, in a $99 device. The other thing we're going to talk about today is, is uh, another operating system we're adding to our Tegra APX line. We're demonstrating here in our booth and we're supporting Android as well as mobile, uh, Windows Mobile. So uh, Android's a new operating system. Uh, we believe, and we have been a member of the Open Handset Alliance since its beginning, we believe it's another exciting way to go off and get great content, uh, great devices into people's hands. So uh, our customers are off designing with both Windows Mobile and the Android operating system now, and we're looking forward towards the end of the year of having interesting devices in the market uh, that reflect that.